Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another tutorial session in bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you one simple trick you can use to download multiple sequences from the NCBI database. The first thing you have to do is to visit this page, the batch entrance page. This is the link and I'm going to leave it in the description box. So use that to also visit this page. Please note that when using this resource, it's advisable that you download your sequences in smaller chunks or smaller batches. That is what NCBI recommends. So I'm going to demonstrate this using six sequences. Now, when you're on this page, what we have to do is to upload a list of accession numbers. I have already prepared that list and I'll put it in the description box. So we can either use succession numbers or we can also use GI numbers. Any of them will work fine for us. What we need to do is to put all of them in a single text file. And that is what we are going to do next. So let me show you how. Let me go to my desktop. And this is a text file. So this text file contains the session numbers of the sequences I want to download. Let me open it for you to see. So there is it. Let me enlarge it. I have six of them here. And I'm going to leave this list in the description box. So please copy them and paste them into a single text file and save on your PC. Please do that. So assuming you have done that, you have your text file here. Mine is here. So now let's go back to the browser and continue. So on the browser, what we are going to do first is to select the database of interest here. So you can select any database of your choice, but let's leave it to the default one, nucleotide. If you don't see nucleotide, please click and select nucleotide. After that, you come to this side here, browse. Click on the browse button here to upload your file. So click on it and then locate where your text file is. The text file is what contains your accession numbers. So mine is here. So I select it and go to open. If the operation is successful, you have the file name displayed here for you. After that, we come to this section here, this side. Click on retrieve, the retrieve button here, click on it and then the section will begin. If there are hits, it will be split here for us. From the search we did, there are hits, and that is why we have this here, retrieve records for six UIDs. So we we'll click on this link to the next page. So on this page, you have the list of sequences that you searched. And we have six of them here. So you can choose to download some of them or all of them. Let's say you want to download two of them. You will check the two. But if you are interested in all the sequences, you don't need to check anything. You can leave all of them unchecked and then all the sequences will be downloaded. So to download the sequences, scroll down to this side here. Look for the send to button and click on it. You have this appearing. Make sure complete record is checked. Come to choose destination, select file. Scroll down, come to formats. Let's select faster. You can also experiment with different file formats, but let's use faster for this tutorial. With a sort by, I will leave it with a default setting. Then I come to the create file button here. So we click on it to download. 
So let's click. You will then be asked to save the file. So I'll save it. I'll save it on my desktop with a default name, which is sequence.faster. So I have the sequences downloaded. Let's go and check them out. So this is the file. Please note that this is a multi-faster file because we have more than one sequence in this file. All the sequences are saved here. So let's open it with a text editor and then just do a bit of exploration. Let me enlarge it. So we have your sequences here. We have a lot of them here. So there's one of them here. And you can search using the greater than symbol for the other sequences. There's another one here. We have another one here. So this is it. But to download, I mean to explore and to analyze it, it's important to use some programming languages such as Python to do it. Because there are libraries or packages in Python that can allow you to read faster files. And I have made some videos on how you can use Python to read faster files. I'm going to leave those links in the description box. And then after the video ends, it will be part of the recommended videos I show. So please do that and get your analysis done. So thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.